Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. We're making a video right now to show you how much more decibel or how much more volume do we get out of our speakers by upgrading our amplifier to more power. It's a question we get all the time. We've got three great amplifiers offered with ranging amounts of wattage, and they go, how much better is it? Well, this video is designed to try to help you make that decision. So hang out as we go through this video. So a little explanation of all of this here in front of you. So we have our amp dyno, we've been testing our amps. If you watched our previous video, we showed you each one of our amps and just exactly how much power they put out. But while I've got the dyno here and the amp powered up and a radio connected, we thought let's hook it to some speakers. So I've got a set of SX165neo Hertz speakers, just the top six and a half are connected to this amplifier. This is the big SP4.900 from Hertz. We're gonna play a pink noise track. Now this is not music. It sounds like a bunch of static and fuzz, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us a decibel reading up here on our monitor. I hope you can see that clearly, but each time we connect this up, we're gonna play it at the same volume. We're gonna play an amp set to its maximum output, and we're gonna record that number, and we're gonna see how much more, how many more decibel do we pick up when we gain more power. And we're starting with our most powerful amp. So I wanna take a little second, and I wanna preface this with saying, what is a decibel? A lot of people want to know, what is this? Because I can throw this number out there, but it, it doesn't equate to you. Uh, you're not gonna understand what this means. Now, what we know is if I double the number of speakers on your Harley, I normally gain three decibel. If I double the power going to those speakers, normally we expect to gain three decibel. But human ear hearing, 10 decibel sounds twice as loud to us. So we would have to double our power and double our speakers and we still haven't gotten to what is really twice as loud. Twice is a big number. That is double what we already had. So when we're looking at decibel, I don't want you to think that one decibel or three decibels is not a big deal. Three decibel is a lot. You can feel it, you can hear it. It makes a pretty substantial difference, but it would take 10 full decibel to be twice as loud as where we start. But understand, every time that we go twice as loud, it's harder to go twice as loud again. So the louder it is, the harder it is to gain more. I always tell people when they're talking about budget, because we always have a budget when we're building an audio system, that the most important part is the right speaker. A good clean amplifier is definitely important, but we gain more per dollar in speakers than we do amplifiers. And I'll give you a quick example. If we were looking at a car speaker or an entry level marine speaker, most of them will do about 88 decibel on one watt of power. If we jump up to a Hertz Neo motorcycle speaker, that speaker will do 96 and a half decibel on one watt of power. So I can gain you eight and a half decibel by going from a car speaker to a very efficient motorcycle speaker. So that extra cost, a lot of times people are like, why is that speaker $400? I can go to Walmart and get some speakers for 60 bucks. Well, that eight and a half decibel costs a lot of money to gain any other way. Doubling your speakers, doubling your amplifier, you only gain six. So we always wanna tell you, get a motorcycle speaker that's high in efficiency. Now you gotta be careful because horn-loaded compression tweeters are very efficient. So if you're looking at a speaker and you're trying to compare specs, if you see a horn-loaded compression driver like the Hertz ST25K Neo, or like you see in some of your Euphoria or Cicada, these other brand speakers that have a horn in them, that horn gets loud very quick, it's very efficient. The mid has a hard time catching up and it takes a ton of power to do that. But their ratings are gonna be higher because that particular style tweeter is louder off less power. So we're comparing apples to apples here. We're doing one set of speakers. We're recording that number and then we're going to the next amplifier to see just what is that power difference and what did it equate to in decibel? And we're starting with our biggest amp first. So I'm gonna play this pink noise track. It's gonna sound like a bunch of static to you and we're gonna see just how loud this is. So I just set it to hold. I'm gonna play it again. I want it to hold our loudest point.
All right, so remember this, 126.1. Now, when you're using a SPL mic, there's a lot of ways you can change things and you can kind of fudge these numbers. We're leaving everything in here set the same. Our mic gain's at 22 decibel. Our output level is at zero dB or all the way, it's all the way to the right. And we're not going to change this. We're gonna leave it here for each amp so we can compare the same numbers. So 126.1 decibel with the Hertz SP 4.900. That's our big amp. Let me reset up. We're gonna do the MAA 4.400 next. We'll see just how much louder it is or less loud for that matter. All right, so we have swapped everything around. So we had the Hertz SP 4.900 use. You just saw the results, did 126.1 decibel. Now we've got the Precision Power MAA 4.400. Now this amplifier, if you go back and look at the results, we got somewhere around 280 watts RMS at two ohm out of the Hertz amp. Now in this case, we're doing four ohms. So that same amp did, I'm believing it was about 30 watts over what it was rated at. So it was 180, 190 uh, is what the Hertz amp did. Uh, this amp in testing did about 125. So we're gonna see what 60 watts does on a very efficient set of Hertz speakers. Now, you're gonna ask, and I know you're already thinking it, what is a decibel, what does it mean? So I got a list here for you. First off, anything above 85 decibel can be harmful to your hearing. Now, if you were to have an ATV or ride a motorcycle, the average noise level, now this isn't the guy with the straight pipes, this is a normal one, is about 100 decibel. A chainsaw, a leaf blower, a snowmobile, you're between 106 to 115. If you went to a rock concert or a loud symphony, it says 120 to 129. And uh, a stock car race can be as high as 130 and a gunshot is 140 decibels. So to kind of give you an idea of just how loud, uh, our last test was 126 decibel, which says it's as loud as a rock concert. 120 to 129 is a concert. 126 one's what we had. So let's see how loud and how big of a difference we have by dropping about 60 watts of continuous power. So let's play this. All right, so that is pink noise. It sounds like static. It's not really a great sound. 123.5. And I saw, I heard just a little bit of clipping there as this is dynamic, it moves up and down. Uh, but 123.5 versus 126.1, we lost almost three decibel. So two and a half decibel, 2.6 decibel loss actually. So 2.6 decibel is almost equivalent to what we would normally think of doubling our speakers. So going to the Hertz amp was as loud as adding a set of lowers without adding them, over using the Precision Power amp. Now this amp is still a beast, it still sounds great. I've done several installs, nobody's been disappointed. Nobody's left and said, that's not loud enough, that's not full enough, I'm unhappy with my system using this Precision Power amp, it has been phenomenal. But again, I just wanted to kind of equate to you what a decibel reading is, 120, to 130 is a rock concert, depending on who's playing and how loud they're yelling. And we're still within that rock concert level using this precision power amplifier. So the Hertz amp is a little cleaner. I didn't hear any clipping when we were at this point. And it did play two and a half, actually 2.6 decibel louder on one pair of six and a halves. Now I would expect as we add more speakers, this difference gets to be a little bit greater. So. Let's go ahead and we're gonna test out our HMP4D, get it set up here, get it connected, and let you hear how loud it is and see what kind of numbers we get with it. All right, so we got Old Faithful here hooked up. Uh, our HMP4D from Hertz is connected to a set of SX165neos, just like you saw with the other two amps. Uh, we've already done our dyno results from our previous video, went ahead and hooked it up, got our mic in the same exact position, playing pink noise, and we've got a peak hold here on our computer. So we're gonna see just how loud it is in comparison. Everything is set up the exact same way. Recap, 126.1 was our number on our Big Hertz amp. Uh, 123.5 was the number on the MA4.400. And now we're gonna see just how loud the Hertz one is. So here we go. All right, 118.1. So we gained 
about five decibel going from the HMP 4D to the MA 4.400. Uh, the cost difference on that is $130 with a road glide, about $170 with a street glide to go up to that next level amp to pick up five decibel. Now you could jump another $300 to the big Hertz amp and with the same speaker, you're gonna gain another uh, two and a half decibel. Three, three, no, I'm sorry, another three and a half decibel. So it's 126.1 versus 118. So an eight decibel gain versus a five decibel gain. So I hope that makes sense to you. Now we just looked it up. 120 decibel is a rock concert, 120 to 130. We were in that rock concert level with those other two amplifiers. 118.1 .1 is pretty darn close. Uh, to equate this to your ears, twice as loud as 10 decibel, we are eight decibel louder going to the bigger amp. We're not quite twice as loud, but we're getting pretty close to it. And I think on a four or six speaker system, it's gonna be in volume and feel almost twice as much. Now that's a huge amp, that's a huge amount of power. And with great power is gonna take great responsibility. You can't feed it distorted tracks, boosted bass tracks, and things like that at full volume or you're just gonna blow your speakers. So this amp has been great. It is super clean. It is loud enough for most people. If you have it already in your bike, I wanted to make a video showing you what that increase would be if you went to another amp. If you don't have an amp at all now, I hope this helps you decide which one to put in your plug and play package from Volunteer Audio. Which one suits your needs and your desires. If you want rock concert level sound, you need to at least do that precision power amp. If your goal is clear music while riding, this amp does that. You're gonna be louder than the engine, louder than the wind at riding speeds. And it's gonna be clear, crystal clear. It's not gonna be distorted like the factory radio. So I'm not gonna tell you this is a bad amp because it's not, it's a great amp but we now have two better amps. So good, better, best scenario uh, between those three amps, and I hope this helped you see those differences. Uh, I wanna thank you for watching. I wanna thank you for taking the time to this weird setup to, that we've had to try to put together and try to show you sound through the internet. Uh, I wanted you to see what you get when you do the better amps. Now, I'm still thinking about all the ways we can do our speaker comparison video. I haven't forgot about you guys. I know you keep saying you're waiting on it. We were waiting on a few more speakers to come out. We know we're on the verge of being released and we're gonna do a very similar setup where we try to do step-by-step -step comparisons between those two. Thank you for watching our AMP video. I hope it helps you understand what more power does. I hope it helped you pick out what you want on a future system. And I hope you're not upset if you bought the old AMP because the old AMP still sounds great. Understand, we never said it didn't sound great. We just have to, to now have some better amplifiers for those people that want even more. We're getting really close to that competition level sound out of some of these bigger amps. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you haven't, click subscribe, click that like button, comment below if you have any questions, comments. I'll be happy to reply back to you. Call us at 1-844-30-AUDIO if you want us to put together a package for you, if you got questions about one, or you can visit volunteeraudio.com. Go to the motorcycle section, go to our plug and play amp and speaker packages, select your bike and your year, and you'll see everything that's available. Thank you so much and God bless.